So hello there all you amazing people. I did a wallet upgrade and it's from this little thing here. It is a really really cheap what will you call it? Like a, it is an Amazon wallet where you have like this little window here. So I went from this little thing here to this the Travex what is it called now? Ascent slim wallet uh, made in the usa and you have some information for the company here and you can i don't know how well you can see it but there's some like uh, 65 years warranty on it uh, donated to non-profit governed by a chrome by a uh, crow and an american company so these are full-blown americans and it, it can hold up to one true cards in this bit here and three to five in this one here and they give you some warnings about um, you know how it's holding up and of course i don't have my cards in these wallets here because i don't have any dummy cards what you do get is this this little thing here we get that with the card so it can kind of like simulate the you know a credit card i have this for like a couple of days and my credit card is a little bit bigger than this here i live in denmark so i don't know if that's what why that is but they're like a mil bigger and if you have like impressions it's a, of course a little bit taller so I saw the, the owner's website, or not the owner's website, but the owner's uh, video make about this card here, or, or this... Uh... No, I can't get this down now. I think I put this up too much. There you go. It is a little bit finicky with this one here. If you put it up too much, too high, it can be really hard to get down. It'll probably be worked out over time. But when I watched the, the owner make a video about this, he said this is the, the one you should use the most. And this is for cards that you don't use that most. However, I do like to have my credit card here. It's one of the cards that I use the most. My gym card and my credit card. And I do like you can just do this instead of have to pull it out and sort it out. So if I'm going to the gym, I will be put my I will put my gym card in here on top of, of the credit card. And when I'm not at the gym, it will go down here like with my social security card. You can see here it's really finicky. You also have to be careful if if you if you hold down here a little bit, just just a tad, it's really, really hard to push down. You kind of have to hold on the sides here for it to get down. And I don't know if that will get better over time, but if you hold it and you kind of just hold it like this, it can get a little bit finicky. So what, what I, I suspect is that if you have bills in here, we can't put this in, but let's say you put some, some money in here or a shopping list and you take this up, this could end up being a little bit difficult to put in or you have to press really hard again i don't know how that is going to work over time because the whole issue is this little thing down here as you can see the closer it gets to the edge you have to like really push down to get this one put in i don't foresee that being a big issue because you get used to it but you, i kind of have to remember to not put my fingers too much in here because i'm bad you can kind of see it's moving here i guess this is enough for it to be, like if you only have one card, maybe if you have two cards it would be better. No. And then I move, and I, I just moved that millimeter or something like that, you can see here. So if you have something that could push this down or that could go in and, 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 and basically, you see this, uh, let's put it down a little bit more here. It's a bit finicky to do like this. So this bit here on, on, on the back side here. I don't know if you can see that from my fat fingers. So if if anything just touch that a little bit, and you have a lot of cards that goes into here, I suspect this could end up being a little bit of an issue. Or you maybe you just need to do this a lot. Um, you know, go it up and down to basically wear in the leather here. But I have noticed if I just you see it's already getting an issue right now. And I have three cards here, and I almost never, almost like with three cards, three plus cards, if you just touch it a little bit, again, this is my experience, it can be a little bit of an issue. I don't know how that is going to be done or what I'm going to see here. Now, I have, if you look in here, I put it all the way up. So if I put the card in here, it wants to go on, on this way up here. So I really have to push down to get it in. So I wish there was a little bit of a stop, let's say here, 
that it couldn't go further up than that. Because it, it could end up being an issue. Is this a deal breaker for a wallet? No. However, this is expensive. This one here is like a $20 wallet. This one here, I can't remember what I paid for it, but I'll put it up on the screen. The issue I had with this one here is this bit here. So it's one of those like rich wallets, uh, lookalikes. I know why they did this, but it's to have like a information card and he had my driver license here. But this here was a little bit of an issue and the way that it took all the cards out, it's just not well built. So I can kind of forgive this in, 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 in a wallet for this price, you know. It's probably Chinese made, probably cost $2 to make it China, something like that. And then with, you know, Amazon is selling it for $25 or $20. This one here, real leather, real fucking, you know, amazing quality that you, you could probably hit someone in the face with this one here. They'd be knocked out for good. So I feel this is a little bit of an oversight. However, this part up here functions really, really well. When I watched the um, Travis website, they were talking about having ID in here. I I can't foresee having ID here. In Denmark, the, the, the driver license uh, picture is here, so you can see like the top of my forehead or something like that. You know, you can see some of the numbers on your social security card. I'm just looking at mine right now. You will probably be able to see maybe one third or a third of the social security number, if even that, maybe just some of my name. This here is not usable as an ID picture window or anything like that. Honestly, it's not. It needs to be bigger. What it is useful for is this here, and this is really, really awesome. The first time I was out shopping, when I used this one here, I had to like, see if I can, uh, if I put this one in here, you know, I had to like, I always have to look and then I had to push here and then all my card comes out and I always have my credit card at top and then I had to take it out, use the credit card, put it back in and stuff like that. This here is just so much more convenient to just do this. And having one card here, it can get a little bit stuck, but that would be, you know, over time it will mold around the cards and stuff like that. It's like an organic thing, it's leather, you have to wear in you have to treat it nicely cut it a little bit you know take it out for dinner give it flowers once in a while say sweet things to it i just criticize this little thing here but you're a good wallet you you you're still good you know you know i don't hate you you know you have to be nice to it and then over time the leather will conform to the cards that you have i have three cards in the back and that is a little bit tight over time this will mold if you have more cards and i've seen other reviewers and i've seen also the website from the manufacturer say that a lot of people they put the cards in they want soak it in water and then you know it, it the leather basically conforms to those cards just be aware that some card may not be that weather resistant with the information as you think they are yes they are plastic plastic but some of the prints on them could end up being you know if you not not two hours in a in a top resistant you know they can withstand rain and stuff like that, uh, especially if you have like written down stuff on the back end, like your your, your signature stuff. That they, depending on how what you're using, it could wear off. So use dummy cards. I may buy some dummy cards and put like four in here and two in here and then soak it in water. But that said, if this here is the only issue I have with the wallet, I can kind of live with it. To some degree. Should it be that? No. Should it be fixed? I would expect that for this. This is like buying a Lambo. You know, this is like buying a Ferrari. This is like buying a high end supercar. You're buying a high end product here. So even though I could live with it and it's not a big issue for me, for the price and the premium aspect this is, it should not be there. Everything else is just amazing. Like, I love it's leather. I've been looking for a leather wallet for, for ages. I love that it's steel and you get it in different colors. I think this is Mississippi mod or something like that. I can't remember. And you get this in, in plain steel and black. I, I, I like black. I don't like it to shine too much, um, especially when you're outside in the sun. You know, if you take this out of your pants and it's like blinding everyone because the sun is hitting it. Thieves and, and crazy people, they could be like, oh, what's that shiny thing? Let's go take that shiny thing. You get, I know I'm really paranoid with that, but you know, Shiny things attract some people, so keeping it low key and not that shiny could be a benefit for you. And if you're going to be tactical and all of that shit, you don't like shiny things. It's not why I do it. I just like I said, I don't want to pay attention to an expensive thing. 
So when I buy expensive things, I don't want them to stand too much out. And I don't think this one stands too much out. That's why I buy stuff like this. It's because of this up here. It's not because it's expensive. It looks expensive. It's when you buy expensive, they tend to last longer. And you can see here it already have a little bit of, of, of you know, scaffold, scaffolds and stuff. And over the years, over time, you will get, it will kind of wear in, you know, to, um, I'm just using my nail here. It will wear in. The way that you use it, you have it in your in, in your pants, uh, uh, dirty pants, <laughs> and how you have it in your pants and how you are using it and stuff. That. So in like a year, two years, this wallet here will be unique to you. The look, the feel of it, the way that it's being worn in and stuff like that. And that to me is also really, really great because the, the, it makes it unique. There is a story about it. I am one of those people that kind of like, you know, if they if, if if this was broken off or, you know, if this was broken or there was like a catch in the leather here because then when people are like, what's that? You have a story to tell, you know, mm. or what happened there? You have a story to tell. I like things that look used. They are telling a story or they are opening up the ideas or, or the questions in all the people's heads and be like, what happened there? You know, if there was a crack in the window here, oh, what happened there? You now have a conversation starter, you get something to talk about, you know, and it, it, it can be a funny story, it can be a not so funny story, but it's something to talk about. And I like that about things that you can see they're being used over time. And you can see I can kind of get this away by rubbing it here now. It becomes unique to you. So even if people are not asking for it, you can also look at it and be like, ah, that was the time I was so drunk, I fell down the fucking stairs. Or... Oop, this was when the fucking neighbor's dog ran after me and I throw it in his face. So don't throw stop at dog's face, by the way. All of these things now, you when you look at it, you have a memory. Where if things look like pristine and, and whatnot, they don't have a memory. You can see this one here after, I think I had this for like a month or two months. It's already beginning to wear in and, 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 and the paint is getting off and stuff like that. It shows that I've used it. And that's why I love leather, because it, it wears in and so use without looking like, you know, it's about to break on your ass. And it becomes yours. And then when you don't want this anymore, give it to a family member, a friend, and then they their use will build on top of this leather. And their story will build on your story. And you know, like maybe your grandkids can be like, oh, this is grandpa's old wallet, you know, and this this is the story told about this sketch here. And so I love this about these things. The older you get, the more you want stuff like this because it's, it's nice to have memories around you that you can pass on. See you all later. Bye-bye.